smash it. Hi right, guys, how's everyone doing? I hope you're all well. Now today I'm doing the ultimate jacket spud challenge. It's by Blue Van Man. He nominated me, Chris the Butcher, Steve's Family Vlogs and Beer Wonder to do this. They've already done it um, on time and stuff like that. They've already done it, so check those out. Links will be in the description. I was supposed to do it on uh, Friday, like everyone else did, at 5 o'clock, but I'm a tit, so I didn't. Okay. I made a mistake on that one. As Chris Butch said on Twitter, I didn't get the memo, which he's spot on. But yeah, guys, all, all their um, jacket spuds look really good and banging. They look lovely. So, yeah, I'm actually going to do a chili con carne. I was going to make this anyway, like, before Christmas. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be a chili con carne like the peppers in there, some mushrooms, onions, stuff like that. So yeah, I'm not gonna read out exactly what's in it and blah, blah, blah. It's not like a how-to video. I'm just gonna kind of record bits and bobs whilst I'm doing it. Yeah, and we're gonna put a bit of cheese on top. So yeah, let's start this, shall we? Smash a like straight away, subscribe, all that good stuff. Plenty of content if you guys are bored. Um, we <clears throat> Try again, Ben. The time we were recording this, literally like 10, 20 minutes ago, is saying that London and other parts are going into tier four. We're, we're so fucked that we're going into a tier four. Boris is a clown. Anyway, let's do this jacket spud, shall we? All right, boys and girls, start off. This big ass pot, bit of oil, we're gonna put in the garlic. I've already prepped this, I did it earlier, just so it's easier now, you know. So we're gonna fry mushrooms, peppers, the garlic and the onion all together. This is a jacket I'm working with, by the way. Oh, mate, I cannot wait for this. Just whilst we wait for that, we're gonna pierce the potato a bit, just so it's easier getting cooked in the middle. This is for about eight people, by the way, guys. There's a whole pack of mushrooms, whole onion, chuck the peppers in, and this is four cloves of garlic. This isn't just for me, guys, by the way. This is like for my family, so if you're wondering that portion is ridiculous, then yeah, I'm cooking for the family, okay? As well as for the challenge. It was actually good timing. I was good, like I said, I was gonna cook anyway before Christmas something, and I was gonna do this, so I was like, perfect. Put on the, on the spot. Yeah, buddy. Mate, this just isn't big enough. So I'm gonna put in, oh, it doesn't even fit, shit. That's what she said, ha <laughs> ha. I want it fairly spicy, so two of these. Two teaspoons of uh, chili powder. Two teaspoons of uh, cumin. Very spicy. And two teaspoons of cinnamon. Right, I've got to check how hot it is later, because this might be ridiculously hot. No, there's a lot of spices, etc. Bloody hell. Right, now guys, I'm gonna add, I've got 12%, two packs of that. You know, bulking and that. This pot is, is not big enough, but it will work. No, I just can't wait for this. It's all starting to come together now. So, after the meat's browned, I've got two tins of chopped tomatoes. You chuck that in there. Will it overflow though? I bloody hope not. Two tins of chopped tomatoes. Tomatoes. Tablespoons of tomato puree. Oh shit, no. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna put some oregano. I put uh, some oregano, I believe, in, in the pizza burger I made. Two teaspoons of this. You want two beef stock cubes. You wanna crush it in, eh? That's what I'm gonna do. Sorry I can't get, I know I'm, I'm not having the best camera angles, you know. <sighs> Starting to come together now. So you want to stir that for a little bit and then in a minute we're going to add some hot water. Just so it can simmer for a little bit, you know. But I hope this comes out as good as the first time I did it, you know. It's still medium to high heat. The whole way through is medium to high heat, guys. Oh, it smells brilliant. Just going to add a bit of hot water just so it can simmer for a little bit. All right, guys, now just going to put on low heat for about 20 minutes. So we're going to find a lid if it has one. It's been about 20 minutes, but um, oh shit. Been about 20 minutes, but um, I think I added too much water, so I need to let it simmer, probably for about another five, 10 minutes. Then we're gonna add the beans. I got beans. So I've got five bean salad, and then I also got a uh, kidney beans, so I've got two tins of beans. You can use any beans, really. Okay, so we're gonna leave for another 10 minutes with the lid on, low heat. No. I don't know. Still not done. K. 
cat piss. I know you like this, Scott. All right, guys, the jacket was actually a bit of a bitch, you know? So I thought it was done. Um, I cut it in half, and then obviously the middle wasn't done. I pierced it several times as well. But the chili actually came out really nice. I've had a little taste already. Subscribe. Yeah, can't go wrong. I got a really nice thumbnail with steam, but it was without the cheese, but it doesn't matter. You know I like my thumbnails, but let's eat this, shall we? Like I said, check out all the attempts. Uh, link will be in the description. This potato might be a bit hard, but soft enough to eat, you know? Yeah. Mmm. Really good. Lovely. But yeah, a bit annoying. I don't know. Everything was fine apart from the jacket. I had to wait for the jacket at the end. Mmm. It's really good though. Lovely. There's plenty more as well. Mmm. It's a proper like proper meal, you know. Proper. Potato's not that bad. It's actually okay. Cause I'm off. Christmas and that. Might as well have this. Bought some still. Bought some Stella's the other day, and a four pack of uh, neck oil. I won't be drinking Foster's like near Christmas, so don't worry. I'm gonna buy all fancy beers like Punk IPA and that sort of thing. And obviously, I'm quite a, I'm quite a Stella. Can't go wrong. Yeah, guys, is there any beers you guys recommend um, for me to buy, like just to like drink over like Christmas period, like Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, that sort of thing? Let me know. Preferably like from Sainsbury's. But yeah, let me know if there's any beers you'll be to. Yeah, try. Get a potato there, how hard is it? That's fine. Mmm, really good. Really nice. Let's have some skin. I actually forgot to put oil and like season the skin, which a lot of them did. But I forgot, so. Mmm. Mm hmm. Really good. Lovely. I'm not even talking much in this. We got London, fucking tier four. Mad. Everything Boris does always seems to be. He always does it slightly late. Oh, I don't know. <coughs> Bit of potato there. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, banging. I also forgot to put butter on it. So I just literally rush. And then, yeah. But yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't need butter, but. Mm. Very nice. Thank you, Blue Van Man, for nominating me. It is an honour, as always, whenever I get nominated for stuff. Apologies for not getting the memo and uh, not realising that you wanted everyone to upload it that day. Apologise. There you go. So who actually feels Christmassy? You got your Christmas present done and all that? Let me know. I should have another one or two videos before Christmas. Yeah, buddy. <sighs> Lovely, man. Lovely bit of chili con carne. He's like, I was going to make it hot, but other people in my family might be like, oh, it's too hot. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to be, I'm not going to do that. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe. Check out all their attempts. Links will be in the description. Sorry for being late. Smash a like and bye-bye.